you can draw this and procreate. During this procreate tutorial, we are going to create this pencil and paper style cat portrait. I will take you through the entire process from basic sketch to fully defined pencil portrait. We will only be using one brush, two colors, black and white, and we're working on a canvas that is 2,300 pixels by 3,000 pixels. Now in the description, you will find a link to my finished piece so you can use that as a reference while we work. So now if you are ready, let's get started. For this project, the brush we'll be using is the round chalk pencil, which I have recently added to the totally free treasure chest brush pack. If you don't already have it, please go to freefromflow.com to grab it. If you already have it, but you don't have the round chalk pencil yet, then just check the weekly newsletter to download yours. Now for the color, we'll just stick with pure black. You can double tap here to grab black and then we'll start sketching. Now for the opacity for this brush, I have that set to 70% and the size is at 75%. Now the base shape of this cat's head is a circle. So we are going to sketch out a circle. Now you can make multiple circles. You don't have to get, well, like a perfect circle right away. When sketching, I like to make multiple motions and in that way, finding that circle. Use multiple lines to get the circle. Then we'll create sort of a 3D shape. We'll have that center line of the cat's face and it's a little bit, well, slightly diagonal and a little bit curved along that circle. And then let's make another one like this so we get a 3D-like shape. So this one is curved like this and this one is curved like this. Now try to keep your lines nice and light. I'm making mine a little bit darker so they are more easily visible to you. But especially when you're working on paper, try to use very light pressure so that your lines don't become too dark and thick. Now, right over here, right underneath this, this cross section here, we'll have the nose of our cat. So let me just sketch a little triangular shape. And I will have one big eye over here and one over here. They are maybe a little bit higher on that line, on that center line. And then right here on top, let's, let's extend this line from the eye. We'll go upward and that's where we'll have an ear. Now an ear of a cat is a pretty basic shape, just a triangular shape and then over here let's also make a line extension from that eye and it's curving a bit with that circle and then make another one over here so triangular shape and i'm starting to think of that treaty shape a bit here we'll go from the corner of the eye towards that nose and we can flesh out the eye a bit more. We have another corner over here and a curve here. And then right underneath here, we have that muzzle. And that's like a circular shape like this up until, up until that center of this eye. Over here as well, imagine the center of the eye, go downward, and then there we have that oval shape. And now we have another little oval right here for its chin. So we've imagined a line from the corner of the eye to the ear here and here as well. And here a line from the center of the eye downward, following that curve of that ball a bit to find the sides of that muzzle. So this right here is a very basic cat face. And over here, let's make a little curve from one corner of the eye to the other. That's where we have that, that transition. Here we have that nose that's quite flat and then it'll go upward towards like that forehead of the, the cat. 
So a little arch here. These are the sides of the nose. And here we have the nose in front. Now we can start fleshing it out a bit. So here the top is flat. And now we have these, these angled sides. And then over here, it's pointing downward. So we get a bit of a shape like this with those holes and a little line here in that center. Then here we have a curve like this and over here, here we have that little mouth. It's quite dark there. And then for the eyes, here we have that, that line going to the corner. Now we can flesh it out a bit. Now let's imagine an, well, a pupil. Let's make it a bit rounded. It's quite far open as it, it shrinks. When there's a lot of light, it'll turn into a slit. But when it's a bit darker, when there's less light, it'll open up and look a bit more like an oval. And that will make him look more friendly. I will make the top side pretty dark. And then here we have a little extension, almost like an eyelash. Let's just make this a bit dark. Let's fill that in over here as well. When you use the side of your pencil, you will get a broader stroke, just like with a real pencil. Perhaps you are following this with a real pencil. You can definitely also follow this tutorial with a pencil and paper. So we have this eye over here. Top part is darker. And then for this one, let's also define that top part a bit more. Here we have that corner, like that eyelash. Then make the top part quite dark. And then that bit like an oval pupil over here. Again, fill that in with the side of your pencil, making the top part darker. And we can also think a bit about the pattern on the cat's fur. I want this to be a little bit darker. And here I want these little patches of darker fur. Right along that line towards the ear. And the ears will be pretty dark as well. Let's just darken that a bit with the side of your pencil. Just figuring out already where we want our dark parts to be on the side here. This will be pretty dark, but we can keep it a bit messy at this point. And we will have this chin area. We can make the head a little bit longer or add a bit of a neck area here and define the sides a bit. You can make it a bit more angular. It has some nice sketchy lines. And like I said, darken this lower area a bit. But this is still the rough sketch. Also darken the nose. So this is just a little guide that we will use for our refined drawing. Now at this point, what you can do is go to the magic wand and then to liquefy. Of course, this doesn't work if you are working with a real pencil and paper. But while you have this set to push with distortion and momentum set to none, you can move parts around. This is the perfect moment to make adjustments to your drawing without resulting in a lot of work that you need to do. We're still in this very messy stage. So you can make parts bigger or smaller. 
and just get a face for your cat that you like. You can make the brush smaller if you need to make smaller adjustments. And I want these muzzles to be a little bit bigger. Just tweak until you are happy with what you are seeing. And then once you are happy, you can get out of here and then go to the layer menu and then lower the opacity of this layer. We'll tap the end and slide it down to 30%, maybe even a little bit lower, 25. And I make a new layer on top by tapping the plus. Now what I'd also like to do is slightly tone down the background color. So we'll tap background color, then we'll go to value over here and let's use this brightness slider and set it to 80%. And this gives the same effect as working on darker paper. For instance, when you're working with real pastels, it can be great to work on tan paper because bright highlights that you add with white, for instance, will look that much better. But you will see that as we progress. Now first, let's just work on this new layer with black and let's start refining our drawing. Now let's start with the eyes. I always like starting with the eyes and bring those to life. Now let's, let's first go over this top part. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Set it to 50% because we are going to make a more refined area this way. And as you use the tip of your pen, you will get thinner strokes and as you use the side of your pen you will get more of a broad stroke a bit more blended soft edged we'll go over our sketch you will have that rounded shape of the of the eyeball itself and at this point you can refine it a bit more Perhaps you want to change the shape even more. And we are going to slowly build up the contrast, slowly make areas darker. So first we'll go for that outer edge. And let's also create that pupil. I want to make it a little bit smaller. Let's color that in with the side and make that top area nice and dark. And you can make multiple strokes on top of each other to gently build it up. And then over here we have a pretty thick area on the side of the eye. And that little like eyelash area almost. So also gently go over this area with little pressure. I do want some gray there and over here. And then slowly building this up, making it darker and darker and also adding some little details like these lines going outward. A little bit of texture on the iris and we can make this line a little bit thicker. I want a crisp edge there. And over here there's a bit more of a softer edge. There's that fur up there. Now let's follow the flow of the fur. It'll flow in this direction. So we are going to make our brush strokes moving upward a little bit, a little bit curved. And over here we have that corner of the eye. We can make some strokes going downward here. Follow the curve of the eye, add some more defined lines. And over here, some dabs. 
And then this lower area here, I'd like to keep that light right underneath here. There will be darker fur again. So we'll darken that a little bit. Make some nice strokes. Maybe to find this line a bit more. Make it nice and crisp. A little bit more over here. That's nicely in shadow. And use the tip of your pen to add that texture. And next, to really bring this eye to life, we can switch to white. Let's go to our color wheel and double tap here to grab white. And then let's first add a highlight here. Let's create a bit of an, well, like a triangular shape almost, with a bit of a curve. Maybe a little circle here, a little dab here. And then let's also add a tiny light here. And let's go along this dark lower eyelid. First make a thin line here. And then along this ridge, add this highlight. Then for the iris, Let's add some texture Let's with these lines and adding light to this lower left area of the eye. And also here on this side, a little bit of light fur here. Let's lighten that up. And like I said here, below the eye, I want a patch of light fur. So I'm just following the curve. And making these lines. We can add a little bit more over here, a little bit of texture. And every once in a while, make sure to zoom out just to check out your work and see if it's starting to come together. I think this looks like a pretty cute eye. Now let's do the same on the other side, which is always a challenge, right? If you are having issues creating the second eye, then I would suggest working on both eyes at the same time, slowly building them up together. So I'm going to zoom in, but not too much because I want to keep an eye on that first eye. And then let's grab black again. And then let's just do the same. Let's first work on that outer edge to find that shape of the eye. Creating that nice curve here at the bottom. Darken this corner of the eye. And I'm constantly keeping an eye on these two eyes, checking if they are the same size, if they are matching. First we'll darken this top area, mostly with the side of the pen. Of course, this only works when you have a pen that, that has this option like the Apple Pencil. If you don't have that, or if you don't have a pen with pressure sensitivity, then it's really hard to get this feeling of working with a traditional, like a traditional pencil. So that corner, that's nice and dark, and it curves a little bit here, that fur along that nose ridge. Then that pupil. 
working with the side again mostly darkening this area and we can also add a darker touch here I'll define this edge a bit more by using the tip of the pen, creating a crisper edge. And let's add these lines here again, a little bit of texture on the pupil, no, no the iris I mean. And these are like sunbeams. Try to make them go outward from the pupil. Let's also darken this corner a bit where we have that sort of like eyelash thing going on or eyeliner looks a bit like eyeliner and just go along this area following that shape of the fur that flow of the fur again outward a bit towards the ear also making some thinner lines and then over here we'll keep that lighter area so just with the side of your pen add some shading here below and we'll go up here towards that nose bridge And then go over, add some more like individual strokes, a bit more defined. Maybe here as well. Just a few of these thinner, more defined lines. Maybe darken the pupil just a bit more. Making these rounded motions with the side of the pen. And now let's switch to white again. Let's grab it here from the history bar. And then first let's make a highlight again. Add some extra little twinkles. And then a little, little highlight here. And a little edge. And then again, we'll lighten the lower left area of the iris. Making these lines. And we also need that little edge, that little ridge along that lower eyelid. And a little one here. Then also some light fur here. And here underneath the eye. Now sometimes it can be that it's easier for you to work on the right eye, for instance, instead of the left eye. Now in that case, what you can do is go to the wrench, then to canvas, and then flip your canvas horizontal. That way you can work on the left eye as if it's the right eye. Flipping your canvas every once in a while is a great thing um, always, even if you don't have trouble with drawing like the left eye or the right eye. It's a great way of checking your work to keep things fresh. I'm just going along that lower area. adding some light strokes. And then again, let's zoom out. Let's check it out. If this is starting to look good, I think it does. So 
now let's move on to the nose. Let's switch back to black. Let's do that from our history bar. And then let's define the nose a bit more. Here we have that corner, goes downward here. Let's work on both sides. And we have the more flat top area. Little line through the center. Here we have these sides going up towards those nostrils. It's a pretty dark area, especially here, the bottom towards that mouth. Use the side of your pen for a nice soft effect. And then let's move down here along that muzzle, creating that mouth area. And also creating the effect of these pencil strokes. Also add some strokes here towards the eye. Some short strokes diagonally. Maybe some cross hatching here. Over here also some diagonal lines towards the eye. And also in the other direction, going over the nose. Maybe some diagonal ones here. Just adding some texture. And then over here, we'll move upward. We have some dark fur on its forehead. So you can start off by using the side of the pen, mostly. And then on top of that, you can start adding these thinner, darker lines. Gently building up that pencil texture. So really just this one brush is all you need. And here we have that darker patch. Again, mostly working with the side of the pen and here. These are like little fans in a triangular shape. And continue building this up, adding these strokes. And it'll get darker as you continue doing this. We can darken this a bit more. The side of the nose. And over here. And I will continue working like this. Also adding darker areas around the eye and we'll darken the ears. But first just make these broader strokes with the side of your pen. Now let's define the ears a bit. Those are going to be pretty dark so you can use a bit more pressure. 
going to make these outward strokes from the head towards the tip of the ear. And we can also go in the other way, in the other direction, from the tip towards the head. And then some more defined strokes, some thinner strokes. So I don't want it to be entirely black. I want to keep some gaps. I want to keep that, that texture, that pencil texture. Continue making it darker. Let's add some lines for the side of the face. And now let's work on this area again with the side. Creating a texture, moving outward, following that direction of the fur. here underneath that muzzle that's going to be a pretty dark area so we're just working broadly first and then later you can add the more uh, individual brush strokes get more of that texture in Here are like some rough strokes. For that underside of our portrait. And it's okay if it still is looking a little bit messy. Just slowly build this up. It doesn't have to be very dark yet. You're going to build that up as we go. So first, just make sure that you add that, that pencil texture with the side of your pen. Lay down that base. That'll make it easier to, to build on. Also make some strokes like this, following that, that curve of the head. It's all about building it up. Maybe we can make this area a bit more broad. And then let's work over here. First, adding that base. Moving in that direction of the fur. And then for that ear, we can go pretty dark again. Make these lines outward or inward. Make it darker and darker. But do keep that texture there. Keep some gaps. So now we have lain down a base. Now we can start making it darker. Let's start with this ear and let's really make some parts very dark. We're going to refine areas, make areas darker, add more 
uh, thin brush strokes. If you enjoy sketching with this round chalk pencil brush, then I think you might like the other brushes from my sketching brush pack too. You can get it with a special discount through the link in the description. The pack contains 15 amazing brushes with a wide variety of effects that are perfect for all your sketching needs, like soft pencils, grainy brushes, and special blocking brushes. So go ahead and check them out. By the way, did you know that right here, we're not just training our drawing muscles, but we're actually also doing some, some brain training. We're developing our brain here. Studies have shown that sketching activates like uh, visual processing areas of the brain and you will improve your memory and your spatial understanding and also your hand-eye coordination. And on top of all that, you are also improving your emotional health because of course, this is super relaxing. Now, right here at the top of its head, let's just make these short upward vertical strokes, just some short flicks with your hand. And then let's get back to the ear again. Let's add some little fluffies here. Now we can make this maybe a little bit bigger, add a bit more that dark hair. We can also make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go for 35%. So we can get slightly more detailed lines. Well, let's just go along the entire area, except for the lighter parts. We will work with white there later. And of course you can still make your brush stroke a bit broader by using the side of your pen. Now over here, as we move down, we are going to make the area darker. We'll slowly build that up. We also want to keep some lines visible. That'll keep this portrait expressive, which I like. Let's darken this. This is going to be like almost black. But we can make these strokes on top of each other. Don't be afraid. Maybe some more strokes here. Fade this a bit into that dark area. Maybe a little bit here as well. And then this area, which is also very dark. So let's just make a bunch of brush strokes on top of each other here. And then gently fade it here on that chin area and add some of these lines. Just this fur following that curve of the chin a bit. Over here, and it's also a dark area. And if you're wondering why this is a dark area, if you look at the eyes, the light is hitting over here. So the light is coming from this direction, and that means it's hitting the eye over here, it's hitting the top of the nose, it's hitting these, well, like these cheeks, the muzzle, but this area, it's, it's 3D. And over here, 
it, well, the light is getting blocked by this muzzle. So that's why this area is dark, just like this area, because this here on top, it's overlapping a bit. It's blocking the light on the eyeball. But then of course, there are also the areas like over here and here and in the corners of the eye where the fur is just darker. So you can make areas darker because there is less light, but also because the cat has a certain fur pattern. Let's make these strokes here. Keep it nice and messy and expressive and loose. And if you want to create a portrait like this of your own pet, then I would suggest uh, first creating a good photo with good lighting, high detail, and then converting it to black and white. Perhaps turning up the contrast a bit so you can get a more easy to read reference. So you don't get distracted by color. That will make it easier to create a portrait like this. And just don't be afraid to use reference. You don't have to put your cat in front of you and try drawing him or her that way. Just create a photo and make it easier on yourself. Now let's make this area slightly darker and add some of these lines adding that texture, those individual strokes. Let's make this a bit darker. And you can see that we're really slowly building this up, slowly like carving or sculpting this cat. And that's really also the trick when using pencil on paper. Really start very lightly, very light strokes with a hard pencil. And then as you progress, start using softer pencils that make darker strokes and build it up that way. And depending on the type of pencils you're using, the type of paper, you can either add highlight uh, with a well with an eraser like like that i'm not sure what they're called like those clay type of erasers i'm not sure about the english word for it or you can use well you could use a gel pen or a white pencil you also have these eraser pencils they are like pencils but they have like eraser inside. Those are really handy as well for more precision erasing. But you might just stick with Procreate and drawing on your iPad, of course. You have all the tools here. Here we'll move up. Let's make that ear over here darker. Using more pressure. But not filling it entirely. I need some gaps. I want that texture. I do want some nice individual strokes. And don't start using blenders here. Don't start using the smudge tool. And not too much in any case, because when you do, when you start blending, it'll start looking really smudgy, smudgy and messy. And you will lose that, that pencil feel. Same with traditional 
media when you smudge everything too much it's starting to look messy less defined so try to not go to the smudge tool try to just work with black and with white building up the contrast in this piece maybe add some lines here I want some nice expressive strokes and now let's also work with white because we can lighten up this muzzle area the nose area so let's switch to white over here and then let's go over here lighten up that nose a little bit maybe a little highlight on the nose and then this muzzle area let's gently light that up and that will really bring it forward it will really give that 3d effect and it'll also add a little bit of texture a nice crisp edge over here and then for this chin area let's also add some white here and of course over here you can also move back and forth between black and white you can go over here with that white and then you can switch back to black you can just tap and hold to switch back and then add more of these these strokes adding that pencil effect maybe just can go a little bit darker Now let's switch back to white. I'll just tap and hold there. And let's add some white fur over here. And you might have noticed that we're just working on one layer. This is really just like working on paper. No layer magic here. Just a canvas and our brush and black and white. So at this stage, you can start refining things, adding more of this texture of these hairs, individual hairs, maybe some lighter parts here in between. Maybe a little bit over here. And then finally, of course, we need some whiskers. Let's first grab black, so we'll just tap and hold. And let's make our brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 20%. And then let's add some whiskers. That's a bit too thick. Let's try to keep it thin. So use the tip of your pen. Make them curve towards the face and here again if you are having issues with the curves on this side for instance then you can just flip your canvas to make it easier on yourself maybe another one here Some shorter, some a bit longer. Maybe some more over here.
Next, let's switch to white. So we'll tap and hold again. And now let's add some white whiskers. So here in front of the ear. And over here. And you can follow that curve of some of those dark whiskers. Adding a light touch to them. Of course, while working on these whiskers, what you could also do is just rotate your canvas and make it easier on yourself. And that's it. You have created a lovely pencil and paper style cat portrait. I hope you have enjoyed this challenge. Now, if you want to develop your skills even further, then go check out my Patreon page, or maybe you would like to follow another tutorial right here on YouTube. Then I think you might like this one next. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.